How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 16 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the blast furnace from Railcraft. Now this shouldn't be confused with the industrial blast furnace as this does different things however it's also a lot cheaper and it's usually the first blast furnace you make. So the blast furnace is a 3x3x4 world built item so this is all exactly one item it consists of these black uh, blast furnace bricks and you just kind of build it around and then once you complete it you'll see a little window pop up for example we see here I've got the entire casing built however I'm missing one one block as soon as I pop this block on there you can see that that window just appeared so we'll do it again and there we go how you're gonna build the blast furnace is you're gonna need four soul stand four nether brick and then one magma cream. You're going to need a couple of these. So in total, you're going to need 36 nether brick, 36 soul stand, and then nine magma creams. You're going to have some left over, so you'll just kind of have a surplus. And that makes the blast furnace brick. The blast furnace is world built, so you're going to have to follow a few steps to get it built completely. The bottom layer is going to be nine blast furnace bricks. The next layer is going to be eight in a circle, leaving the middle center uh, hollow. The next one is going to be the same exact thing as that one, eight around with, with a hollow one in the middle. And then the last one is going to be nine blocks straight like this again. And that will make the complete casing, or however you want to say it, for the blast furnace. To pick up the blast furnace, you can use any kind of pick. For example, I'm using a wooden pick here. And it'll still get it. It's taken a while, like you're not supposed to be able to break it with this. However, it'll still return the block to you. So, as you can see there, we got it back. To automate the blast furnace, it's kind of smart how it handles its inputs. So, for example, if we were to throw some iron in here, and as soon as it sucks it in, we'll see it's going to go in there. And if we watch the blast, well, I already got a piece in there. But you can see it went right into the top. So if we were to come over here, we see this is an output or an input. And if we go ahead and throw some coal coke in there, we can see that it's going to come into the bottom slot and start cooking. Now, I've even flipped these, like I've made this an output, and it'll even grab the output. So it kind of depends on what you're putting into the blast furnace. And then really taking it out doesn't really matter. It's just what you have coming into it because it sees it. It says, hey, look. This is aluminum dust, so I need to put this in the top slot whenever it's coming in. Or, hey, this is charcoal, or this is coal coke. I need to put this in the bottom. And then, of course, the whatever side that you have the pipe coming out of is going to be your output, and it'll come right in here into this chest. That's going to conclude today's tutorial. Just some of the real uses for the blast furnace. It'll definitely come in handy. Uh, it makes your steel ingots. It can make your aluminum ingots. And it, you, it can even be used to salvage some metal from some items in the game. But if you have any questions about the blast furnace or really just anything about it, uh, feel free to post a comment in the video or send me a private message on YouTube. Uh, I read all my messages and all my comments, so I will get to your question. If you did enjoy this video or if it did help you out, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe as I always have different kind of Feed the Beast tutorials coming out almost every other day. Thank you. Thank you.